Hi everyone, it's Darren Fraser, and today I wanted to walk you through some of the changes we've just deployed in Abuma Insight to help you better manage your user and security needs. Right now I'm logged into Insight as an Insight Administrator, and I need to invite a new user to this solution while deleting somebody who's actually left the company. Now the simplest way to get started is to follow the normal pattern. So that is, I go into my administration portal and then click on users from that portal. What you'll notice though is that this is no longer the user management page, but instead is a landing page that explains that user management in Insight has changed. User management's now moved into Aviva Connect, Aviva's main cloud platform for all cloud capabilities. It's our common platform for finding and provisioning applications, security management, application navigation, and monitoring your commercial agreements and usage. As part of this change, we've extended the capabilities of Insight to support user groups in addition to user roles, giving you the ability to more easily manage permissions at scale. Now you can also grant access to multiple assets in the Insight hierarchy, giving you more flexibility in how you set up your security model. And we'll have a look at that in just a minute. One key thing to note is you must be an Aviva Connect administrator to manage security and connect. This is a different role to the Insight administrator but to make this easy for you, we list out the Connect administrators for your account. So if you don't have this permission yourself, you can go and talk to one of those assigned administrators, either to gain access for yourself or to, support, to get their support in the changes that you need. Now it's important to note that all of your users have been automatically migrated into Aviva Connect with the same security setup as before. So no action is required from you unless you wanna make changes to the security model or add or remove some users. Now, if you're an administrator, you can navigate directly into Aviva Connect using these two buttons. In our case, we want to add and delete a user. So we're going to begin with the add and remove users button. And you'll be taken directly into Aviva Connect with single sign-on and taken to the user management portal. Now, from here, we can find our user who's left the company and delete them. In this case, the name of this person is I have left at Aviva.com. So we can find that user record, simply click on the delete button, confirm the delete, and that's it. That user's now been removed from the system and we no longer have to worry about them. Now we also want to add a new user called Libby Smith. She needs user access, user level access for Aviva Insight. So we're going to start by clicking on the add user button and entering her email address. So I can say libby.smith at aviva.com. Now, if I know that she just has one user group to be added to, maybe one user role, um, I can simply say I can add her to one of these user groups. Um, or if I only have one user role where I want to add her, I can simply configure this role here. Now, in our case, I want to show how the roles capability works. So I'm just simply going to add her email address and click save. She's now a user in the system, but doesn't have access to any services within Aviva Connect. And that's what we'll set up now. So let's go across to the roles tab. The roles help to define all of the different services in Connect. Inside is just a service in Connect and the roles that have been allocated to different people on those services. So in our case, we want to allocate a user role for Libby Smith on Insight for the Wonder Demo application. So we can simply start by so let's having a look at the roles that exist today. I can filter to say, just show me Insight and then show me Wonder Demo. And this will show me all of the users who have been set up with different roles on Insight today. So you can see different people like myself. I'm an administrator on Insight for Wonder Demo. Other people have been set up as a user. And so it's very easy to set up. So for Libby, I simply want to say assign role. I want to be able to assign her to Insight for Wonder Demo. The Wonder Demo being the solution, Insight being the service. And then I can say, well, I want her to be a user. Now, a key change here is that when I'm selecting the asset, I can now select more than one. This will give me much more flexibility in how I set up the security model and allow me to specify 
exactly what it is that, that Libby has access to. Now, when I click here, you'll see there are lots of different assets that are available. And I know that Libby works in Australia. So what I want to do is give her access to Brisbane. And I'll also give her access to, I think we have Sydney down here, or Melbourne. And I might also add Sydney. Right, but I don't want to give her access to Auckland, Canada, and so on, because she doesn't need access to those areas. So I can simply then add her email address. And that's it, we're done. So when I save that, what we'll now see is she'll be added to the list of roles in Aveva Connect. So once I've added her, I can see now her user role has been added, where she's been given access to the Insight Service on Wonder Demo, our solution for Brisbane, Melbourne, and Sydney areas of the asset hierarchy. That's all she'll be able to see when she logs in, nothing more than that. And that's really all there is to it. It is a little bit different in the user interface to what we've had before, but this new mechanism allows much greater flexibility and ultimately better control over how you set up your user model and provide or protect access into the system. So thanks for watching. And as usual, please let us know if you have any feedback uh, by emailing us at feedback at Thanks again.